Sun Jian will take the lead. And Yuan Shu shall provide support. We leave before daybreak. Generals, good fortune in battle. Lord Yuan Shu, I am counting on you. Farewell. Common swine. You won't be so smug for long. Alright, so since the minimum requirement of stages that I need to play is 6, and there's only 3 more acts, and I already played 3 stages, I'm going to go right into the Battle of Hulao Gate and go from there. Alright, so... This time around, I'm going to go and play as Zheng He. And I know I show off all the models, but I will show off the fourth one again. So, here we go. Alright, the equipment, the weapon. We have a maxed out Peacock Talons. The items, I'll leave it as is. The bodyguards are at 8. The objectives. We have to defeat Dong Zhuo or have a retreat, and we can't allow either myself, you won't shout the fall, or the time running out. The unit info. For the Allied forces, you have Yu Wan Shao, Yang Liang, and Wen Chou. Yu Wan Shu, Gang Sun Sun, Cao Cao, Zhao Yu Wan, and Zheng He, which is me. Sun Qian and Sun Xuan, Liu Bei, and Wang Zhang. For Dong Zhuo's forces, you have Dong Zhuo, Mao Fu, Fang Chou, and Wang Fang. Li Ru and Xu Rong, Li Jue and Jia Xu, Wu Se and Li Meng, Diao Chan, Dong Min, and Gao Xun. Alright, let's do it. And the same concept. Shoot ton of KOs, shoot ton of points, and we gotta be fucking fast. So, let's see what happens here. This is a battle for justice. Do not fear, attack! So, the reason why I'm skipping the battle siege we get is two things. One, the minimum requirement is six stages. So I have this, the battle of Gwandu, and then the campaign against Sun Jian. So that would be six right there. And at the end of the day, if I don't have to do any additional stages, then I'm not going to. But um, the most important part is, um, what is it? So if I play the battle siege we get, Getting the requirements when it comes to KOs, points, time, and everything, it, it will be a little bit more difficult in comparison. Um, getting 200 KOs in the battle siege we get is a very difficult task, unless you put it on easy or normal. Yes, I'm playing it on normal, but I really don't want to risk doing that and getting four, not even getting 4,000 points because doing that is just as almost impossible. I must say it's not achievable, but it's very difficult. Then playing the battle of Hulao Gate, once Dong Zhuo burns down Lo Yang and Yuan Shao starts to move, Dong Zhuo will start to retreat and defeating Dong Zhuo actually gives you a little more points and those points do help in the long run. I'm not even talking about the weapon experience points, I'm more on the actual points like when it comes to the overall score so that will help and that also helped me get the KOs in this stage too because when it comes to history means let's perfect this stage and battle siege we get on the two stages that I usually fail in getting over 200 KOs so I might as well take advantage of it and uh, skip the battle siege we get because that's the only time I really get 200 KOs is if I actually skip the battle siege we gate. But anyway, so here comes the ram. Oh, that's gonna take a bit, but in the meantime, we're gonna go and defeat Wosa and Li Meng. Then we'll go up and defeat Dong Min and Gao Shun. And no, yes, I actually did not equip the way of Musu here because um, I, I'm gonna just take the gamble at it, but uh, I'm hoping that I'm right this time, and uh, 
like I said, my only real concern is Ulubu, but if if my basic attacks uh, make well, let me try that again. If he shit, let me chase this guy because actually, yeah, let's uh do that because I accidentally defeated Gwosa first. But there we go. Anyway, so as I was saying, um, if my basic attacks flinch Ulubu, then he'll be ridiculously easy. But uh, if not, then uh, we're gonna have a hard time. And yes, I will be skipping the duel again. As you all know, that glitch fucks up a lot of shit. Um, well, with my items anyway. So, if it wasn't for that glitch, I more likely would be accepting every duel. But, um, for some reason, it happens. Don't know why it happens, but it does. Um, at first, I thought it was like a penalty, but it only affects the, uh, dim sum, I'm not dim sum, the, uh, tourist amulet and the tiger amulet. So, anyway, Dong Min is down. And I already defeated Gao Shun. And here comes Lubu. All forces attack! Take Dong Zhu's head! Is that who I think it is? It's Lubu! Lubu come to destroy us! Like I said, my only concern is Lubu. If my attacks flinch him, attacks flinch him, there. Anyway, um, then I should be perfectly fine. But you know what? I'm going to defeat these guys as well. Not for the fact that uh, I don't need to, but I'll keep the gate captains and guard captains alive just in case if I have to worry about Lubu. Alright, now let's go and fight Lubu. And I will be declining that. Now let's see here. Based off that attack, I think I should be fine. Oh yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Alright. Awesome. So, beating Lubu will be no problem. At all. But I do want to fill up that boost of gauge so that way I can actually defeat him a lot faster. And Lubu is down. Alright. So. Now I do want to get a couple more KOs. Before I move on and fight the Chan. And since I've actually declined Lubu's duel. More than likely I'll be challenged to a duel by the Chan. If not, then that's fine. But, uh, I just want to make sure that I get the stuff that I need when it comes to the KOs and points and all that bullshit. So, that being said, we grab the Moose and Wine, now the Dim Sum's on the other side. Then we'll go defeat the Chen, and then we'll go inside Lo Yang and start defeating everybody as fast as possible. Because, since we skipped the battle of Siege Gate, Wash Yang will automatically appear here. Thus, the reason why if I skip or play the Battle Siege Week 8 and uh, we defeat Wash Yang, then Wash Yang won't be here and Dong Zhuo will automatically retreat. Well, he will retreat no matter what, unless you don't open the gates to Lo Yang and uh, you keep them. Oh, here we go. You know what? I'll duel her. 
Let us proceed gracefully. So, uh, as I was saying, um, if you keep those doors shut and you don't go inside Lo Yang for a set period of time, then Dong Zhuo will tell his army to charge. And then, uh, of course, the fucking true moves to attack with that little health. Yeah, let me make sure I actually defeat her before I say anything else. So anyway, he'll start telling his army to charge, and then if that were to occur, then he will not retreat from the stage at all. However, the consequences of that is having your enemy with max morale. So, that's up to you whether or not you want to deal with max morale throughout the rest of the stage, or uh, worry about the commander retreating. And in this case, it'll take a little bit longer for the fact that Hua Xiang will be appearing here in this stage. Did you think you could break through our forces? At this point, I have no need of Luo Yang. Burn the city and keep the invaders out. As my dream comes to fruition, I can sacrifice a capital city, or two, or three. So now Yuan Shao will start to move, but then Hua Xiang will appear. Um, Pretty much around the time where Hua Xiang appears, you'll see it in a second, that's when Deng Zhuo will start to run. Um, if you defeated Hua Xiang at the Battle of Siege Street Gate, but obviously that didn't happen, so he will be here instead. Um, so I'm going to use that to my advantage and uh, defeat, try to get uh, 200 KOs and try to defeat Deng Zhuo in the process. I'm not worried about Hua Xiang. Typically, you should be concerned because uh, he will be attacking Yuan Shao. And obviously, if you allow Yuan Shao to die, then uh, it's a game over. But I'm not fully worried about that. And if you were to play a stage under Yuan Shao, then you really have nothing to worry about. Because, uh, yeah, anyway. So, we defeated Jiashu. Now we'll go for Li Jue. Defeat him. Then we'll move up and then defeat Tung Zhuo. Then we'll go from there. Might as well defeat Fan Cho as well. Might as well, there we go, I was like, might as well just go on foot, as long as he doesn't retreat while he's on his horse, then we'll be fine, because I could easily outrun him, but he's not getting off his fucking horse, there we go. I forgot his charge attack sends you fucking flying. Alright, that shit's gotta fucking stop.
he's still attacking me, which is funny. Oh. There you go. And I was going to say, he, he it looked like he stopped attacking, so he's going to run, but it was a little too late there. And that's a win. Alright, so that's another one down. Two more to go. Uh, we completed another act, obviously. And uh, we completed the stage in 10 minutes and 54 seconds. Not bad. No items. The KO count is 209. Oh, where the opponent count is 13. Uh, the max that we could actually could have gotten, if that made any fucking sense, is uh, 17. Because uh, there's also now Fu, who I didn't defeat. But he was all the way down over there by the uh, gate where Tong Zhou would retreat if he were to retreat. But he didn't. And then you have Hua Xiong and his uh, two officers. But uh, we got a lot of fucking points in this stage. We got 8,318 points. So I don't have to really worry about points for a while. But uh, yeah, anyway. Like I said, defeating Dong Zhuo gives you a lot of fucking points that could help you in the long run. So anyway, that will be enough to get to rank 3. Uh, possibly rank 2. And I think that's it. Yeah, because uh, rank 1 is 48,000, and then max rank is 60,000. But you can go as high as 99,999 points. So, anyway. And also note, once you get your rank to max, you'll also get the 5th uh, and 6th models. Which, pretty much for most of the characters, I think the only characters that don't have it are the new characters, because they weren't in Dynasty Warriors 3. But the models for, well, the 5th and 6th models are pretty much their models for uh, Dynasty Warriors 3. Well, mostly the 5th one. Uh, the 6th one is an alternate, but there's some that might be a different color if you compare this game to uh, Dynasty Warriors 3. But anyway, uh, yeah, enough of that. The weapon experience doesn't matter. The bodyguards and all that, that you, you know how I feel about that. I can give two shits, we will save, and there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, featuring Dynasty Warriors 4, and I will see you in the next part where we'll take down the battle 1-2, and uh, continue on with the objective, so peace out.